bikes just in front of Mark Martin. Here comes Sterling on the outside past Earnhardt as they go into turn three, and you see the 28 car of Ernie Irvin just behind him, Dale Jarrett. Presley was back there in 10th spot on those shots that you saw. Now back with the leaders. Earnhardt on the inside and Sterling Marlin outside. And Ernie going with uh, Earnhardt down on the inside. That's going to hit. Oh, he got trouble. Terrible crash. Earnhardt in the field all torn up. Earnhardt's car destroyed. A major crash. Sterling Marlin taking off the gloves. Earnhardt's number three. Head on into the wall at 190 miles an hour. He almost got upside down. That car got very high off the ground. Uh, Ford Burton there, you can see the very top of his car. It's moving again on its own power. Rick, Rick, but Rick I'm involved again, it looks like. Hmm. There's another car resting just to the inside of Earnhardt's that's absolutely gone. That is the Marlin car. Whole side gone, front end bashed in. Kenny Schrader. Craven getting back underway. Kenny Schrader was involved. Wally Dahlenbach was involved. Wow, that was frightening. Mm. A tremendous hit on the Earnhardt car. Sterling Marlin looking over number four, which is just down the track on the inside, about 75 feet. Wasted. Totally car. wasted. Gone. That good car that's won so many races for him. Dale Earnhardt still in his car. for the lead going into turn number one. Greg Sachs. <coughs> Greg Sachs car has uh, been collected in this wreck. 29 cars going back toward the garage area, but we're watching here with all of you as they administer to Dale Earnhardt. This is the crew watching on TV, just like you guys are. They're watching to see what Dale, how Dale is in the car. Just hoping and praying he'll get out of there on his own in a moment. 70 career wins for the seven-time Winston Cup champion. And they're going to they're going to cut him out of the car. Five-time winner of this race, Dale Earnhardt has crashed and crashed as hard as we've seen him crash in years since a knockdown he had at uh, Daytona in practice for the Grand National car once. Sterling Marlin walking back down the track toward the pit area. They continue to clear the track. That's Greg Sachs out of his car. Derek Copes, number 12, was also collected in this wreck. Derek wasn't here for the first day of uh, practice. His dad had suffered a heart attack and he had gone home at that time back here and running well. Richard Childress looking on, the car owner. And Dale Earnhardt is coming out of his car.
standing up. Stand up and he's left. Get your feet. And Earnhardt is on his feet. Dale Earnhardt attempting to walk to the ambulance. Never, never doubt that cliche about Dale Earnhardt, one tough customer, gives the thumbs up as he walks away from one of the worst incidents in his racing career. Let's join Mike Joy down on pit road. Mike? Larry McReynolds is here. He's holding hammer and body tools, waiting for this race to get restarted to fix the right front of Ernie's car. What happened? Well, you know, obviously it was hard for us to see, but it looked like we was on the low lane, and it scared me to death because I seen Ernie all the way down on the apron, so he had his left side wheels down, so there was no, he could not go no further, and looked like Sterling just come down on us, got us in the right front, and unfortunately him and Dale Earnhardt come out on the raw end. Hate it happen, but you can only go so low on this racetrack, and you know, you can lift, but if you lift, you get passed by a whole freight train, so we got a little right front damage. We'll fix it on this pit stop. It's going to cost us some track position, but we just do the best we can. Still got a lot of racing to go. After that brutal accident, it seems inconceivable that Earnhardt walked to that ambulance. Let's take a look at what happened to Dale Earnhardt and the rest of the field here in turn one as they battle for the lead. Ned? Well, you can see Earnhardt is leading. Ernie Urban trying to pass the four car of Sterling Marlin, touches him, shoots the left front of Marlin's car down into Earnhardt, Earnhardt into the wall, and then... Since they were at the front of the pack, lots of other cars came along and got involved. Earnhardt rolling over in that incident. Another angle. Boy, as close as you see, Earnhardt's car gets upside down, gets hit there by, Bo Ro uh, by a Colt. Uh, Robert Presley. If Robert Presley in the 33 got into Earnhardt when he was upside down there. But Cope was the first one, got him in the roof. Derek Cope in that 12 tangled with him as well as it was spinning and crashing. From the in-car camera of Dale Earnhardt at 190 miles per hour approaching turn one. Sterling Marlin's pictures of this incident. And Sterling okay after that one. Dale Earnhardt has at least a broken collarbone. Another look. Well, you can see the 28 and the four car touch, and the four car gets into the right rear of Earnhardt, shoots him right straight into the wall. Earnhardt's car gets on its roof, gets hit first by Derek Cope, and then the car 33 of Robert Presley comes along and hits him as well. And lots of other cars get involved simply nowhere to go. When you got that many cars running at that speed, that was the fastest part of the racetrack. When they came just past the start-finish line, well, there's going to be some big damage, and there certainly was. Mark Martin spinning through it. be glad when he looked up and saw that he hadn't, he hadn't felt it hit anything and then all of a sudden here comes a car right in front of him. That was Greg Sachs, but he dodges him and gets going again. The loud noise you heard there with the out, outer part of the tire, the inner liner stayed up, but you could hear the outer tire pop as he was sliding around. The picture is from Mark Martins, number six. He'll be able to continue. He's being shown in the lead lap in 13th position. Back in the infield for the completion of the 500. There are the remains of Earnhardt's number three car. He did walk away. Now the situation is this. Dusk is settling in here. 
the circumstances are. We'll have a five-lap shootout after this fifth caution period and red flag. Look again at what happens to Dale Earnhardt, Sterling Marlin, and the rest of the field. 28 and the four, touch, shoots Earnhardt right into the wall. Jeff Gordon, Dale Jarrett, and Jimmy Spencer were very fortunate to get right on through there. It turns Earnhardt's car over, and then he is hit through the roof by the Derek Cope car first, and then a second car gets him as well. Another look. Let's ride a final time in car number three as it takes the wall at over 190 miles per hour. In all 14 cars involved in this catastrophe, 16 cars in the lead lap as we get ready to decide this in this five-lap shootout. The update on Dale Earnhardt from the diehard 500 wreck. He had a broken left collarbone, a broken left sternum, and who better to tell us what happened? When the car turned abruptly sideways, I, I knew I was going to hit the wall, and when I hit the wall, it kind of broke my sternum. And when the car got up on the side and got up in there a little bit, uh, it was spinning around. I seen a flash. Another car hit me at the same time, so it was probably Derek. And then uh, that was a big crash, and the car went airborne again. That's when I broke my collarbone and bruised my pelvis. And uh, that was when the third three car hit and then the car sat back down on the ground on its wheels and spin around. The 29 car went by to my left, and then a red car hit the front end. And I assumed that at that point, from the replay, I couldn't tell much. It was either Schrader or, or the 94. And come to find out it was Schrader. He said, I've seen you and I named for you. <laughs> this week, we also talked to the other two drivers at the top of that accident, Ernie Irvin and Sterling Marlin. We showed them the replays, and Mike Joy asked them about the incident. Everybody will look at the replay, and um, every different angle, and everybody have a different opinion of exactly what, what went on. Um, you know, we're, we're jammed in there together, and, um, you know, on the replay with Del Jarrett, it's, it's like he's on the gas, off the gas, on the gas, off the gas, and so... That's what happens in restrictor plate racing. And my car ends up getting a little bit loose from Dale coming up to it. He never touched, but he got it and got me a little bit loose. Plus, I'm Sterling has got us jammed down where we have a real corner to make in the trioval instead of having a, a normal trioval and you got a lot of racetrack to go. And normally, you know, you just have to give a foot or two and, um, you know, that, that wasn't all, all there. Ernie, when the car got the two left side tires down on the apron, then did it wash back up the racetrack? Right. And a lot of it, my car was a little bit loose at the time because everybody shoved up on my bumper, and I'm right there against Earnhardt. So um, it's, it's a shame that it all happened, but, you know, there was lots of wrecks, wrecks all weekend, and um, probably the, the biggest thing is is Dale Earnhardt's involved in it, and now it draws more attention to it, and, you know, He's, uh, he's the best in our sport, and he's going to be again. I mean, sometimes when you're following it close, you know, two people, and uh, you know, especially the leader, you know, two or three cars back, it's really hard to see, you know, the apron of the corner. And uh, look at them, it's like it's what, you know, he got on the apron a little bit. Shot it back up across the home, and turned in on. But not as if he drove up into it. Yeah. I don't know. All I know, I got hung in the left rear and turned in on hard, so that's basically all I know. How hard is it, or what do you do to take an incident like that, put it behind you, and, and turn the next page? It's, I mean, it's over. As far as I'm concerned, it's over, and uh, they will go to Daytona next year. We'll be there trying to win the race and uh, give the best shot. That's all you can do. 
over but not to be forgotten. This Kevin Sawinski.